Stay tuned for our 20 plus guests. Clyde Raposo. Hi gang, thank you for tuning in to our 20 plus segment on a YouTube channel which we call Flat Top John. And this is where we feature people who've maintained a career, a profession, a job for 20 or more years. In this video, we interview Clyde Raposo. He served his early years in the military in the U.S. Air Force and worked for the rest on Hickam Air Force Base for a total of 34 years. Uh, Clyde is a great guy, humble guy, hard worker, tough, tough as nails. He also has hobbies and he was an avid Harley Davidson rider slash Harley Davidson mechanic and he's helped uh, countless people, uh, keeping them up and running and made um, many friends and bonds through the years. Uh, uh, Clyde, uh, I want to recognize him for his hard work, his dedication, and his service, and tell him thank you. Uh, just a disclaimer, I'm not a polished interviewer or uh, published, uh, polished speaker, as you can tell. Okay. So if you can bear with me and focus on Clyde, that'd be great. Just focus on Clyde. Don't, don't focus on me. I, I wish I had some kind of editing skills. I could kind of edit myself out in this this video clip, uh, but uh, yeah, don't let me take anything. We just focus on Clyde and what he's done, and um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go watch Clyde. Hi, everybody. I'm here with Clyde Raposo, and featuring him for my 20 plus segment of this YouTube channel. Hey, Clyde, how's it? How's it? How doing? So. Basically, we're here uh, for 20 plus is what I'm doing is I'm looking for people who committed 20 plus years in any given profession or career, a job. It doesn't matter what job or what career. And right now, I'm here with Clyde. So Clyde, if you can introduce yourself, if you can tell me uh, what job, what company you worked for, how many years you worked for, and what your title was. Well, my name is Clyde Raposo and I used to work for civil service. I did a number of jobs in my time, but mainly I always fell back on uh, civil service. I worked from jobs as small as uh, commissary store soccer, all the way up to the 15th Air Force Base Wing in supply where I handled aircraft parts because I was trained as an aircraft mechanic in the service, so I knew a lot of the parts. So this is pretty much a DOD. It's a civil servant's job, and it's a government job, but we're serving the people. And so from service to civil service, it's the same thing, except you follow a little bit different guidelines. You have a little bit of lead way, you know, but the responsibilities are the same. You know, you're actually protecting the public. So there's a lot that dedication has to play with it. Some people don't think it that way, and they don't get higher up in the, the responsibilities, so to speak. They're just there to get a paycheck mm. or whatnot. So after following along, one thing leads to another, and uh, dedication, responsibility always plays a role. So next thing you know, you know, you got like, 30 something years total in the service and I think I'd be still working there. I've met people that believe it or not was working 70 years there. They've been there since World War II. You know, and uh, they've never gone out and looked for other jobs. Oh. They've made little money, really. There wasn't big money that you make in the service. It's the retirement that you make. So they stayed in it for the retirement. And I was lucky enough that I was one of the last ones to do so, you know. I was rewarded with that. But, like I say, time goes by fast, you know, and if you don't change your career, you're just stuck in the career that you have. What was the total amount of years you served uh, with Air Force? I served eight years in the United States Air Force as active aircraft mechanic, uh, KC-135s and B-52s, combat support. Mm -hmm. And then I went to work for Hickam Air Force Base. Yeah, I started off in the 
AFCOMs. They had AFCOMs. I worked a couple of years in that on a stocking cruise. Then they find, found out my background and they sent me over to supply. And being I had a clearance already, I started working with sensitive equipment and aircraft parts. And that total amount of service was 34 years? Yeah, 34, 34 years. years. Yeah, awesome, 34 awesome. Years. So that's a lot. <laughs> the reason why I'm pursuing this, uh, excuse me, why I'm pursuing this is because in this day and age, it's yeah, it's, it's kind of common where people are saying, you know, yeah. uh, it's, it's almost uncommon to find people that, that stick with one thing for so yeah, long. Yeah, the what, same job. What, yeah. would, what would you say was a main factor or what, what kept you consistent and persistent in that field for that many years? Well, my job... What was your drive? My drive in my job was uh, um, I was kind of like uh, from the Air Force. You take an oath. And when you go into civil service, you take an oath too. You know, and people depend on you to do things or to do your job. And your job keeps changing, it manipulates. So it's not like it's boring. It's not like you're on a factory line. It's exciting at times. You get to go places. Sometimes you get to do strange things that nobody else does, mm -hmm. you know, like blocking bracing ammo on top of a tractor mm, trailer yeah, you know you yeah. don't find that too too common outside you know so um different things and time goes by and you want to do other things you just don't want to break away from the commitment mm. that you already have to do it you can work part-time jobs i've done that i've worked part-time jobs for many different companies wheels hawaii um, there were many different things, hats, I worked on aircraft, you know, for Ni United Airlines, uh, all of these are small jobs. So, <laughs> If there's any uh, message that you, you wanted to convey to young people, or just anybody viewing this, what would that be? you have any message for them, anything that you want to share? This is your moment, you invested 34 years of your life, basically the, to the main you know, thing. Force. The main thing for everybody to really, to put aside all of the, the the hearsay that you hear and everything. Do what you like. Do what you like, because if you do what you like, you'll love it and you'll make a living out of it. That's the main thing out of everything in life. And you'll be happy. Awesome, awesome. Again, this is Flat Top John, and this is my 20 plus segment. So 20 or more years, if you know someone, if it's, if it's you and you wanna be featured, I want to honor you. I want to feature you, just like here with Clyde. You know, that's such an investment. 34 years, basically working for the Air Force. And it's something, it's an accomplishment. And, uh, you know, you should feel proud. I'm proud of you. I'm thankful. And I'm pretty sure your employer you. is thankful. <laughs> and everybody you interacted with, and you're a good man. And I really appreciate it. Thanks, Clyde. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Flat Thank top. you. This is Flat Top John. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, click a like well, for, you know, Clyde here and for myself and my channel and if you really like what you saw uh, hit the subscribe button and there's more to come more interviews to come more people to find you know that serve these long distinguished careers and uh, thank you for tuning in take care bye God bless